Raul Ampero's desire to improve pedestrian safety is driven by the tragic loss of his own son, nine-year-old Giovanni. Our children need to be protected. That's my goal. It's been a year since an elderly driver struck and killed Giovanni while he was crossing Northern Boulevard here in Jackson Heights, Queens, walking with his mother getting ice cream. The message that I want to send to the drivers is please obey the law, slow down, to save lives. My son should have been dead. The Ampueros, surrounded by relatives, friends, transportation advocates, and elected officials, all marched Thursday evening from Giovanni's school down Northern Boulevard to 70th Street, where Giovanni was killed. In the last year, the community fought successfully for the construction of a new pedestrian island, a small victory in a much larger battle to save pedestrian lives, especially when it comes to drivers making left-hand turns into an intersection. Way too many children have died in Northern Boulevard and 34th Avenue. And I want to thank his father for all the advocacy that he has done up in Albany in getting laws passed and things changed because he's turned his anger and his sorrow into activism. But islands are not always the answer. In fact, earlier in the day Thursday, in Bath Beach, Brooklyn, a 61-year-old driver of a van turned right at a corner and fatally struck a three-year-old boy on a foot scooter in a marked crosswalk. The driver arrested and charged with failure to yield to a pedestrian and failure to exercise due care. Juan Restrepo of Transportation Alternatives. Always a lower speed limit. We, we fought for 20 for a reason, and there are many other things that we could be doing that really prevent those moments where the darting action results in the worst case scenario.